What's your funniest or most memorable moment from filming? I think it was doing that scene with Scott Eastwood with the ice cream sundae. Um, I had to just make ice cream sundaes while we were doing that dialogue scene. And it was good because there was a lot of improv that was involved in it um, and I got to just be free. And I was wearing a Celine Dion t-shirt with an African print robe, um, which is something I'd wear at home in my privacy, but I brought that to the forefront. <laughs> was this your actual outfit? I wear the robe at home, I do. I do, I love my African print, but the Celine Dion t-shirt, that was an addition. Was that your idea? Why not? Celine Dion, you know, makes the, makes the emotions rise, you know, and Jake Pentecost, he loves some Celine Dion. I did wonder, like, who's going to put the ice cream away after that scene? I, I know, and, and I felt bad. I felt bad because I was like, okay, can't it just be shared out to the crew? Like, I'll actually try and make it. But the way I make Jake makes it in the scene, he's got all these hands in it, and sprinkling it all over and dashing chocolate on it. You can't really, uh, it's not really edible. Probably right when the kaiju came out of the breach at the bottom of the Atlantic Basin. And I looked over at John and he said, what is going on in this movie? You and John, you had some good banter between you. Were there any moments where you just start laughing? Everything he says is pretty funny. He's got that English accent, you know? You have a nice way of making things sound proper when it's not maybe a proper moment. And what's the reality like of what's happening when you're in your suit? Is it green screen? We're actually in our robot head that is on top of hydraulics that moves. We're stood on top of like blue screen treadmills so we can actually get real running movements. And we're not on the spot just doing this. We're actually on, on, on treadmills. Only the outside is green screen. Everything inside is actually really there. I didn't realise you were on treadmills. So yeah, did you yeah, ever fall off? Thing. Nah, because once, you've, once you kind of fell off, your legs will still be like in the air a little bit. You'd like just hang there. For a sec. We only had a few weeks coming in, you know, a few weeks prior to shooting, and that's all we had. Um, but our stunt team was fantastic, you know, so we, 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 we learned fast. For a big action film like this, did you have any fitness routine or regime? Yeah, I did. I mean, it's a skin tight suit, that's number one, so you need to make sure the silhouette is looking all right. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of combat, but it's to no one. So the accuracy of those punches and all that kind of stuff is it, it, much more important. And what were you doing? Cardio in, in the morning with free weights um, and then a circuit in the afternoon. And if you want, up to you, go for like a 10 minutes on a, on a treadmill or whatever in the evening and then 10 minutes on a cross, cross train and then 10 minutes on another cardio vascular machine. And were you doing sort of boxing? Boxing training, a lot of jump rope, a lot of running. Because I think the big major thing that we're trying to build up was endurance, given that the suits are heavy and there's a lot of stuff to do while while you're in them. So that was a that was a main fixation. I don't know if you heard, but I did over a thousand. Not a big deal.